Thanks for having my back out there. I was annoyed. Honestly, I think the whole WWE universe was. So, guess this means we're finally gonna get our match, huh? You're pretty excited for someone who's about to get handled. <laughs> I see how it is. Well, you just go ahead and underestimate me, champ. Oh, I don't underestimate you at all. I've seen your stuff on the indies. I know you can go, but so can I. You've watched my indie matches? I didn't know you'd be into that. What? Just because I started wrestling at WWE and never had an independent run doesn't mean I can't appreciate what you did there. I mean, that dive off the balcony against La Congrejita Loca? Wild. Self-destructive and probably ill-advised, but wild. Man, if you had ever been a free agent when I was in TBD, I would have gladly jumped off a balcony against you too. That sounds like a blast, except I'm the one who would have been doing the jumping. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy with how I came up, but I do sometimes wonder what an indie career would have been like for me. It sounds like an adventure. Huh. What? Just gets me thinking about our match. About whether I'm going to pin or submit you? No, well, not exactly. Someone recently pointed out that I was lucky enough to experience a fantastical whirlwind tour when I got to WWE. I got to have the adventure. I'm wondering if I should pay it forward. What do you have in mind? You're confident you're gonna beat me anyway, right? Anytime, any place. I was really hoping you'd say that. You want to do what? It's just gonna be two matches. Best of three series. So yeah, <laughs> it might go to, if Bianca really has no fight in her. It'll probably go two. That's as many as I need. It's not the best of three series that gives me pause. It's the locales. It is the usual custom to defend the WWE Women's World Championship on WWE TV. Sure, we could do that if we want to stick with what's comfortable or get this. We fight for the Women's World Championship in the coolest indie arenas around. Japan, Mexico, we could even go back to your old stomping grounds in the UK. Honestly, sounds like a great way to push that grassroots international exposure you business types are always talking about. And you know what else it sounds like? Oh, I'm positive you'll tell me. It sounds like a big swing. It sounds like taking advantage of every opportunity on the table. And it sounds like doing something different without being afraid to fail. I know what you're getting at, and I'm not sure I like you turning my words back on me. I'm sorry to interject, but this is ridiculous. It's, it's unheard of. Allowing a WWE champion to defend at these underground indie shows? Untelevised? What about, what about the advertisers? Advertisers? Really? I'm afraid Troy makes an excellent point. Marketing will hate this. See? Fortunately, this is not a marketing company. This is a professional wrestling company. A professional wrestling company that's going to take a swing and whose general manager cannot wait to get on the road. Uh. The only question is, where to first? Don't look at me. This is your world. I'm just the adventuring tourist who gets to hit you wherever you so choose. It may be my world, but I say we make it your world to start. What if we go back to your old territory? Match one at Club UK. God save the king.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring from Sweetwater, Texas, the captain, Gage Phelps, Cindy. Dear, dear, dear. That cannot have gone as you'd hoped. No, 
Everything went exactly according to my plan of getting hit in the face a bunch. Are you regretting giving Bianca the invitation into the Indies? Not at all. I miss the intimacy of a smaller show, the interaction with the fans. Just didn't expect Bianca to pull the same energy from the crowd quite as easily as she did. Bianca got very comfortable very quickly. If she had come up in the Indies, I would have wanted her for TVD. But that's not going to stop me from beating her at our next stop. Which raises the question, where to next on this great tour of the world? Bianca played a little fast and loose with the rules out there. So at our next stop, let's lay down the law. I'm sorry. Law! L-A-W, the Los Angeles wrestling promotion? Ugh, it was a pun. And those are seconds of my life I shall never recover. The city of angels it is. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making our way to the ring from Sweetwater, Texas. The captain, Gage Belt Cindy. Let's go. Uh -huh.
Ladies, it appears that you two will be going to a final match. Fitting, really. Winning that championship will be even sweeter after going the full series. Don't get cocky. No way you beating me twice in a row. Before you two launch into a witty repartee, I have an update. I've just spoken to the suits in Stamford. They have... thoughts. Well, that's never good. Word of your genuinely marvelous matches has spread and so has the buzz. They were insistent that the next match will be on WWE television. They want us to do the match on Raw? You promised us we could see this through in indie arenas. Indeed I did, so I reached an agreement. We will be producing a portion of next week's Raw live from the location of your final match. Oh, wow. Uh, listen, I know this is a stretch, but how would you both feel about having the match at T... TBD? Yes, a surprising and unexpected suggestion from you. Which is why I have already given instructions for the road crew to meet us there. Wow, it's going to be super embarrassing to lose on your home turf, but I, for one, am here for it. One idea, though. What's that? With everything I know about TBD, and since it's the final match, kind of seems like it should be no DQ, right? Bianca Belair, you have no idea what you just asked for. <laughs> Deal. Geneva is going to freak. Wow. <laughs> I'll second that wow. And raise you a hot damn. They really got to work in here, didn't they? Can you believe it? After the hectic morning I've had with the crew to get this set up, I can. I had to yell at some guy named Troy a lot. He kept wanting to cover up the TBD signage with raw logos entirely. <laughs> Sounds like Troy. I'm really glad that I could do this for you, Geneva. 
for us. Did you ever imagine that we'd be here? Honestly? You main eventing a TBD show feels pretty familiar to me. This one just has more logos. You know what I mean. This is different. Later tonight, I'm gonna win the WWE Women's World Championship in the house we built. Living the dream. Hey, you get ready. I've got some contracts to look at. <laughs> Same as always. But seriously, don't get too caught up in paperwork that you forget to enjoy yourself tonight. This is big. Big, big. I know. It is. And I won't. But I also know you'll enjoy this enough for the both of us. Good luck out there. It's a TBD homecoming for the captain. You can see the emotion all over Cap's face. We are tied in this best of three series, and she wants to win it at home. That might be the daydream, but the nightmare comes when she loses it all in front of her hometown crowd. Can the prodigal daughter return home and win the Women's World Championship? The EST of WWE has come to TBD. Do you think Bianca's got jitters here tonight competing out of her element on the captain's home turf? Bianca Belair is a world-class athlete and superstar, no matter what the venue. I think she'll be just fine. Bianca wants to show everyone in TBD why she's the EST. Introducing the challenger from Sweetwater, Texas, the captain, Gage Bounce, Cindy! And her opponent from Knoxville, Tennessee, the WWE Women's World! We see it there, the Women's World Championship, the reward for coming out on top in this match. A symbol of dominance for the woman who possesses the coveted title. It's the main event of WWE at TBD. The title is at stake as TBD original cap takes on Bianca Belair in a rubber match for the Women's World Championship. A WWE title defended all over the world and now at a U.S. indie promotion? I never would have believed it. 
Well, believe that despite the feel-good story, Cap has a huge challenge ahead of her to walk away champion here tonight. Ooh, that'll do some serious damage. Bianca's being taken full advantage of now. Bianca here in a disheartening position. Tornado DDT! Talk about devastation. Uh-oh, this is just vicious. Stop in the arm. Champ taking the worst end of the exchange. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Followed by an elbow, a four, my goodness, just punishing their opponent. Belair with the wherewithal to avoid that. Chop combination. Across the forehead and right to the chest and then the throat, wicked. Oh, God, that hurt. And she's keeping the pressure on here. Get his from the top. Elbow drop. This is what it's going to take. You have to go all out if you want that title. Is it enough? Two. She kicks out with authority after two. She's still as determined as ever. Oh, boy, that's a determined stare that's come across her face. Middle rope, missile drop kick. Hit the target. Consecutive high-risk maneuvers, and the pace of this match has certainly picked up. She's trying so desperately to get back up to her feet. No way. Somersault plancha. Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spitting in the face of danger. And now she delivers her back into the ring. Would you look at this? She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. Across the top rope, what a hot shot. Back in the ring now. Belair goes behind. How about with a glam slam? And this is what the EST does best. Bianca comes out. The EST looking to secure the win. K-O-D. Can it be? Will the rain continue? Two. Kick out. The hope lives on. The champion's shock is palpable. The champ will have to dig deeper now. And you got to think that this could be a mental hurdle for Bianca to overcome. She's into the ring again. Watch this display of power. It's a power bomb. Thunderous impact. She fights her shoulder up before one. What's it going to take to put this match away? Right there. Let's go. Let's go. Oof. Kick right to the gut. to the chest. Are you kidding me? She manages to get control. Uh-oh. The champ's eyes were glazed over. She is not done yet. Crash can right to the zone. She wants to take this one outside the ring, it seems. She's taking this outside. This one cannot be lost by Kana. Steel chair? Something we all know can be a devastating weapon. Comes back into the ring. Cover for the championship! She kicks out with force. She just dug down deep there, but I don't know if she'll be able to do it again. What impact! Oh. oh my God! Any one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage, but I don't think you can come back from this many. You better have an aptitude for pain because it just keeps coming. Bianca gets rescinded right back.
And this one might be headed ringside. Able to parry that one. Power drop kick. Bianca is losing any remnants of control now. Bianca needs to figure things out. Getting carried around. Bad spot to be in. And some effective offense with that one. If this were a tables match, that would be all she wrote. Yeah, I don't see her writing much of anything after going through that table, though. Guys, they are getting way too close for comfort here. Yeah, I've seen this before, and it doesn't end well. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Here's the pin tunnel on the line! Here we go! from the champion. Now is not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. I wonder if she can withstand much more of this. Yeah, she can. Oh, boy. Here it comes. Will she get it fully locked in? Fujiwara armbar. The oh, that's one way to get out of it. The EST looking to fight her way back into control. A series of clotheslines. And what does Bel Air want next? What a counter! Oh, what a spear! Cover! Two! Breaks the close count. She just won't stay down. Watch out! Oh, God, that, that, that's a bad landing! No, that was a harebrained idea to try that. Was trying to find a way to attack, but completely wiped out. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? Ugh, gets put into the barricade. Oh, man. Look at this. Whip right into the barricade. She did her homework there. Oh! Big form. Wrenching the arm. Driven all the way down for a European arm breaker. Watch out. Squaring off right by our announce table. Oh, God. And Belair is being broken down. Yeah, Belair is struggling to find solution. Oh, I like this. She's getting a little creative with her offense. This is likely going to have adverse effects on her. She's only aggravating her competition at this point. Look out! Oh, man! No sign of hesitation, and that risk gained big rewards. She throws her back in. Is it. She was being tested, but now finally gets some offense of her own in. Fell off with an elbow. Counter upon counter. Great minds thinking alike. Oh, bad place to be for the champion. Here's the pin to retain. The challenger fending off the two count. Wow, I thought this was over. She turns it right around with a counter. to their jaw. Bianca's looking weak in the knees. Could spell trouble. Uh-oh. Poison runner. Gonna see a new champ. So there's down. And just like that, this journey for the woman they call the captain reaches a conclusion with a victory over Bianca Belair. Hey, this is no 70,000-seat stadium, but on this night, in this small theater, this audience feels like WrestleMania. Well, there's nothing like WrestleMania, but I think it means a little bit more to this superstar that her first championship win happened here. A full-circle moment, Corey. This woman has followed a long and winding road that brought her back to her beginning. What's next for this superstar, this WWE champion? The sky's the limit. What's Becky Lynch doing here? Becky was the number one contender until she got injured after war games. Becky's not moving like she's injured now. What does she want? What do you think, Saxton? No, 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 no. 
Not in my ring. TBD promoter Geneva Rose is not having it. I get she's ride or die with our new champion, but what's she going to do to stop Becky Lynch? You got WWE problems. Go settle them on WWE time. Because believe me when I say, if anyone, anyone tries to interrupt my best friend's hard won moment, it's gonna be me. No, they've been friends for years. Don't trust anybody. This is an assault. This is karma, Saxton. You can only step on so many people before you pay the piper. And she's paying now, but for what? Thanks for coming home, Cap. It was so generous for you to put this show together for me. I know you think I'm slumming it around here, but you forget that I'm proud of what we built together. And I know you're used to taking the credit for everything. So I thought it was important for me to make an appearance tonight, to set the record straight. You'd be nothing without me. Let me be clear. I am not just some best friend side character in your hero's journey. What do you think I've been doing since you left? Sitting around and just following your career with rapt attention? You moved on. I did it. And I've been putting everything I have into growing TBD. So, when Becky approached me, I was more than happy to help turn your moment into my moment. You can feel the bitterness from Geneva Rose, the jealousy. Recognize this? The contract we wrote in the diner when we first started TBD. Yeah, I had it framed. Thought it was a nice touch. Especially now, because according to this legally binding document, you're still signed exclusively to TBD. You can't work anywhere else. You can't be champion anywhere else. And you belong to me. But she's a WWE superstar. Not according to Geneva Rose. See you next week, Cap. Don't be late. Well, that didn't go quite like I thought it would. No, it did not. What are we going to do? So some bad news about that. Geneva sent a photo of the TBD contract to legal and the napkin checks out. But it's on a napkin! A legally binding napkin. You're still signed to TBD. And as long as that's the case, you can neither be WWE Women's World Champion nor a WWE Superstar. You're not... serious. Unfortunately, I am. The title will revert back to Bianca. Although now that she's healed, Becky will have an opportunity next week. There's gotta be something we can do to fight this! I wish there was, but my hands are tied. Good luck out there. It's been... something.
Make me feel bad? <laughs> Think so? <laughs> Is it working?
Hit her again. Hit her again. Stop it. I don't want to hear it for someone who cares so much about taking care of the business. You're not taking care of your own right now. And you, you haven't been blameless in this. Seriously, stop acting like children. Figure this out. Not so easy without someone to prop you up. You never would have gotten anywhere without me. If you wanted me back here so bad, why the hell did you push me away to WWE? I didn't think you'd succeed. Really all because you got jealous of my success? You were jealous of me? I was never jealous of you! I was jealous 
because you brought more of yourself to WWE than you ever brought to me! <laughs> better now that you forced me back here Ugh. no and I hurt like hell oh same <laughs> now that makes me feel better you were the one who always wanted me to try new things push myself harder level up aren't you happy that I finally started taking real chances? I am. I would have been happier if you'd done it sooner. Maybe I wasn't ready yet. Maybe I wasn't able to push you far enough. But you did all of this, Geneva. You were the one who pushed me to the tryout, who, who pushed me to accept Regal's offer. I just didn't realize what I was giving up. Who oh, I was giving up. You never gave me up. Besides, I'm here now, aren't I? <clears throat> nah. You're fired. What? We're getting you back to where you belong. It's not going to be easy to get you back to WWE. I'll do whatever it takes. Extra work, another tryout, even a sincere social media plea. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. Regal's been calling me every day trying to get me to release you from your contract. And I happen to know from him that Becky needs a challenger for the Women's World Championship at WrestleMania. I hate you right now. Love you too. Listen. Since I'm more or less the reason you're in this position in the first place. More or less? Okay! Entirely the reason you're in this position in the first place, okay? I'll handle all the arrangements and annoying contractual paperwork stuff for your once-in-a-lifetime surprise mystery opponent return at WrestleMania. Wow. This is gonna be huge. Thank you. You should, uh... Put the contract on a napkin. <laughs> Maybe I will. You've had a number of personalities in your WWE career. What you need to decide now is how you want to return at WrestleMania. I'm gonna return like the star I know I am. It's time to go Hollywood, baby! Oh, jeez. It's like I can sense your ego getting bigger by the second. You sure? Get Alfie on the phone. Yes, I'm sure. And this time, I want you by my side. By your side? What are you talking about? Come with me to WWE. It's clear you can still go in the ring, or they can definitely use you backstage. You could run circles around Troy. Oh, okay. You know I'd love to, but I can't. We both know Regal will sign you. It's not about Regal. <sighs> TBD's been growing since you left, and the co-branded WWE show pushed us even further. I belong here, promoting the next generation of wrestlers. <laughs> I've got to go my own way. You go yours. This feels... Worse than before. More... final. Hey. Sometimes you've gotta have an ending to have a new beginning, right? But that doesn't mean I won't be at WrestleMania. I'll just be in the crowd, cheering my lungs out. 
Kayla Braxton here, just hours from the official start of WrestleMania with women's world champion Becky Lynch, who still doesn't know the identity of her mystery opponent tonight. Becky, are you at all worried that not being able to prepare for a specific opponent will leave you at a disadvantage tonight? I know a thing or two about disadvantages, Kayla. But what I know about disadvantages are overcoming and rising above them. Case in point. After my injury at War Games, I came back better than before, dispensed of the person responsible for that injury so hard that she had to leave WWE, and then made quick work of Bianca Belair and the Women's World Championship. I may not know who my opponent is tonight, but I know this. I'm walking out of WrestleMania WWE Women's World Champion. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Women's World Championship. Listen to that ovation for the Women's World Champion, Becky Lynch. The man had to crawl over broken glass to win gold again. Whoever her mystery opponent is had better be ready for the fight of her life. One thing you know for sure is that Becky Lynch is going to give it everything she's got. Becky Lynch walked in as champion and intends to walk out the same way. It's Cap. The mystery opponent is Cap. Look at the glare from the champion. Becky Lynch is ready to start throwing hands. And she has every right to. Trying to sabotage the man's WrestleMania moment by bringing Cap back at the last second deserves a punch in the mouth. Cap is not just facing Becky Lynch tonight. She's standing eye to eye with destiny. Introducing the challenger from Sweetwater, Texas, the captain, Gage Bouts, Cindy! And her opponent from Dublin, Ireland, the WWE Women's World Champion, Becky This is what these competitors have worked so hard for. The Women's World Championship in the balance. Cap's journey to WrestleMania saw her claw her way from the Indies to the top, only to be hurled back down again. But now, on the heels of this surprise appearance, she's here on the grandest stage of them all. 
Somehow it seems that each obstacle Cap has faced on the road to the showcase of the Immortals has made her stronger. I may not have always been Cap's biggest fan, but I respect what she's gone through to get to this moment. But all that struggle means nothing if she fails to get the job done against her one-time partner, Becky Lynch. Able to reverse. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Come on, Becky fights back. Brilliant countering by both competitors. Right into a drop, the elbow to the arm. She flips it back on her. Drop kick. It's the mark. So much damage inflicted. Boom! Seated drop kick connects. Oh, got caught with a punch to the face. still has some fight left. Able to interrupt the attack. Thank you, Lynch. Rolls through, and she's... There it is! Disarmor! 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 But Disarmor is in. Only had a moment to escape and capitalized. Bruising attack to the stomach. Becky Lynch, Horso up, and hand off slam. But champions need to finish the job. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. The challenger's looking shaken, and Becky saw an obstacle in her way and handled it accordingly. Timely reversal on Lynch. Drop kick. This doesn't look good. That's a free fall. Uh-oh. <laughs> Running senton. Top rope. Here we go. From the top. Diving elbow drop. Are you kidding me? Kravat <laughs> locked in. Hip breaker. Becky can't stop this string of offense. Becky's fighting spirit needs to cause a change here. Reverses the move into a DDT. Arm ringer. Apply. Well, that came to an end with a abrupt punch. Power bomb position. Throwing down punches and counters out. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. Thank you, Lynn. Uh-oh, fends off the attack with an elbow. Going down low, striking the front and back of the leg. And then a stop to the back. Treating the torso to yet another attack. Driving down the forearm into their jaw. Monster set up in the corner. It's about to get worse for this superstar. Oh, wait a minute. We're about to see an upgrade in the physicality here. These two athletes exchanging blows on the ropes. Elbows Ooh, now ow. over and over again. Just punishing. Now what? Now there's Poison Rana. The title might change hands. The cap has made a definitive statement by returning to WWE and becoming the women's world champion at WrestleMania.
What a return. I can't wait to see the next chapter. If her first outing is any indication, the sky's the limit for this superstar, who's proven she's ready to not only put her body, but her whole heart on the line when it comes to this business. I love to see you get nostalgic, Byron, thinking about the past. I'm thinking about the future. What personalities will she bring? What epic battles will she fight? What will she unleash upon the WWE Universe? I guess we'll find out. Soak it in, Cap. You deserve this moment. For Byron Saxton and Corey Graves, I'm Michael Cole. This is your new champion, and this is WrestleMania. Introducing the challenger from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair! And her opponent from Sweetwater, Texas, the WWE Women's World Champion, the Captain Cage Belt, Cindy! That is what it's all about. What every woman claws and scratches for. The Women's World Championship. The Women's World Championship on the line here in this matchup. Whoever wins this one, no doubt, we're looking at the unequivocal top dog in the women's division. Without a doubt, Corey, the top prize in the division, yeah. up for grabs. Yeah. It misses on the springboard. Oh, nice balance. Into a double knee drop. Charlotte loves to slow a match down to a pace that suits her and her game plan. Would you agree, Corey, that the key to taking Charlotte down would be to refuse to work her pace? Absolutely, Cole. You keep a faster pace, you keep up your chance at disorienting Charlotte, or better yet, having her make a grave mistake while attempting to keep up. Oh, the champ getting put on the back foot here. And there's that ruthless streak of Charlotte's already just flowing out of her. Stomping down! Charlotte turning the tide to her favor. Charlotte isn't holding anything back. Well scouted by Charlotte. Oh, man. Oh, stop right to the belly. Spear by Charlotte. This is what true with a championship on the line. She gets the shoulder up. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. She's got an answer for that. There goes the knee. And now she's setting the pace of this match. The momentum is clearly turned to her favor. Hooked up in the corner. Explorer suplex. Able to reverse that one. Hooked up. Now oh, look at the power side slam. Ooh. Ooh, bullseye. And that's another focused attack to her torso area. Chop block. Brilliant. Right to the back of the knee. Countering the queen. Yeah, but she needs to maintain some offense to fully get back in this one. Flair delivering the chop. Followed by natural selection. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. Shoulder up, still holding on to the title. We knew it was not going to be an easy task to put the champion away, and that's being proven right now. More like the champions proving that sooner perish than lose their title. And guys, we know Charlotte. This is only going to make her more aggressive. To dare kick out when she's ready to finish things, not good. Oh, across the top rope. This is an unyielding attack from Charlotte. Charlotte's really turning it up, that's for sure. 
taking flight. Oh my, apron sent time. Toss back into the ring. The Queen looking disgusted to be in the ring with her opposition now. Spear by the Queen for the championship. shift into the tides with this championship match. Kayla, night one of WrestleMania was an incredible experience, but all of the focus now is on what happened after the undisputed champion defeated Brock Lesnar. That's right, Byron. Roman Reigns made a shocking return by laying out the champion right after his successful main event defense. The dark horse slayed the beast, but immediately fell to the head of the table. Roman Reigns then issued a challenge for tonight. And the undisputed champ accepted. For the first time in WrestleMania history, one superstar will be main eventing both nights. In addition to Charlotte Flair's huge women's world championship defense against Gigi Dolan, the WWE Universal title will be on the line. The undisputed champ will defend against Roman Reigns, who stated that his only interest is taking back his universal title. At midnight tonight, whichever man wins will walk out the longest reigning WWE Universal Champion in history. Get ready for history to be made on night two of WrestleMania. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Women's World Championship. Introducing the challenger from Atlanta, Georgia, Gigi Dolan. And her opponent from the Queen City, the WWE Women's World Champion, Charlotte. The referee letting our competitors take one final look at what this match will be all about. The decorated Women's World Championship. All eyes are on this match for the Women's World Championship. With this kind of prize on the line, you just know this will be a knockdown, drag out fight. I'd expect nothing less. These women are convinced that this is their moment, their time, that this title is theirs for the taking. And Gigi didn't see that coming. Oh, my Lord! We all know Charlotte has all the tools to any match she competes in, but Corey, can you think of any specific strategy for her tonight? Cole, you're absolutely right about Charlotte already having all the tools. She needs to focus and remember that, which honestly shouldn't be a problem for her. She's Charlotte Flair. Uh-oh, way too oh, diving moonsault! Just a continuous rush on Gigi here. Great focus thus far from the Queen. Charlotte is using every tool at her disposal thus far. Oh. Eat defeat! And able to counter. Dolan reversing the momentum on her. It's time for Dolan to take advantage of a misstep and take command. With the pain being inflicted on the champion here, this isn't just... GG Dolan. What is she looking for? Oh, my, the GG driver. The time's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. Oh, kick right in the face. Go for the arm bar and up. Just stretching out the arm. Oh, strong knee connects. Charlotte, a step ahead there. Oh, nice balance. Into the knee drop. Bam! 
The challenger not looking good right now. Yeah, as the queen no doubt wanted to put her in her place a little more emphatically that time. Drops a knee. And the hits to the core keep coming. Oh, a shit breaker. Gonna be hard to walk after that. Charlotte Flair sizing up her opponent. There's a handspring. Handspring clothesline. Charlotte once again proving just why she is the... And the champ stands tall once again. Here is your winner. And still, the WWE Women's World Champion, Charlotte Flair. She came in the champ. She's leaving the champ. Thank <laughs> you.